Should we drop some of this stuff off? Mm. Yeah, okay, we'll drop off the ammo. I actually ended the game with loads of stun prods. So, might be a good idea to try and use those. So I think we've cleared all of those, haven't we? Okay, yeah, I did I did go into these, didn't I? I was thinking I must have, because otherwise the doors would be grey, surely? Um, but then I couldn't remember. Did we look at that? I think we did actually, didn't we? Okay. So I think the, the Falk is the commander unit. Wow, that actually worked. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, so they do have lines of sight from the looks of it. Because usually if you stand like there, right by the door, it can see you, or they can see you. And then they scream, and then they try and hack you. Which isn't good, FYI. That's interesting. I don't think we use this lift. Can use this left. So, like, why is it here? Okay, so there's only the one place to go. How do I use those again? Hang on. C. Okay, C. Signal. Oh. Bomb. Bomb. How did that not work? <laughs> what are you doing to me, game? Maybe we were too close or something, possibly? I do love stuff like this though, like, is the, the Yule is obviously, well, I think the implication is the Yule is, like, sort of aware still, and is staring at itself in the mirror. I mean, it could just be a coincidence that it's stood in front of a mirror, but that's the, the vibe I get. That's just sort of creepy because it makes you think, well, they're not quite dead, are they? They're still somewhat conscious, maybe?
So that's quite interesting. The bioresonance thing. Is that comes up later. I think that's to do with... Oh, God. Uh, bioresonance bio resonance is... That's difficult to explain. Later on, you sort of realise that some of the the robots are sort of like psychic and have a, an almost psychic connection to one another. There's a specific type of android that is able to communicate between uh, between androids, or like it, it has a certain control over over androids, or it's aware of what they're thinking, sort of thing. Um, and it's to, I think it's to do with bioresonance. It's sort of like pseudo pseudo mind powers in a sense. Let's see if we can't. Okay, did that work? Now we have no health. Not health. Oh wow, that never clicked for me before, but this must be like the detention area. Like where they kept prisoners and the people in the cages or the, the things in the cages were either just out workers or maybe androids that went crazy. Oh jeez, look at that. So that is really useful. Yeah, this is where they interrogated people. So I think this should give us the radio, and then we can use the radio to open the wall safe. I think? Oh, no, okay. Oh no, this is it. We get the, the radio after this sequence. So, yeah, this is a flashback of some kind. God, look at those.
this is somewhat spoilery, but I think these sections where it's first person are all flashbacks to previous lives. A previous life. Is essentially, um, the Ariang, Ariang, so, so, so. Oh, we don't have the, the photo on us. But this is somebody's memory of being the, the girl we're chasing. This is her memory of like one of her life experiences. She was on a she was put on an outpost as a radio operator for a while. And this is like from her memory of that. I don't want to say too much because I'm already kind of spoiling it. <laughs> So we should have the radio now. Yeah, there we go. So what we need to do is go back to our files. So this one, yep. Is it Trey? It was Trey, wasn't it? Yeah. And this should give us the code. And there we go. I really like that the key cards that help us access different areas have different people's faces on as well. Like the 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 actual characters' key cards. Um, yeah, it's a, probably a dumb thing to mention. It's just like it's a neat touch. It makes it feel as though like the key card was actually part of the world. If you see what I mean. So what is this for? Oh, is that for the lift, maybe? Yeah, okay, yeah. So I think we have cleared out this area, haven't we?
Yeah. Okay. That sucks. Is that the shotgun? I think that's the shotgun. Wait. So the shotgun just seems to be a Spaz S12. Um, but uh, with uh, game appropriate colouring. Does look pretty good. Yeah, we can't do anything there at the moment. I think when I finished the game I got got a pretty standard ending so I'm curious how you get but I have heard there are multiple endings so I'm curious how you get the other endings I think from what I've read, the ending I got was based off how I played. Like I played, well, obviously it was, but you know what I mean? Like, I played quite conservatively, so the game apparently punished me for that. I thought I was playing well. Cool. So this is quite a simple puzzle, but it did like infuriate me because essentially what you need to do is you need to find a black card in another room and then put on the black card, put on that pattern to then use it as a key card or a door. Um, but I couldn't figure out which way round I was copying the key card, if that makes sense. Like, it's hard to tell like which way round the old guard. So I forget what these ones are called. These are a special type of and, uh, replica. I should stop calling them androids, shouldn't I? I mean, they are androids, but you know, I mean, they, they have a name. A name in game. Um, there's like a shy replica. Like it becomes, they explain it later on, or they uh, they start to explain it later on that the replicas all have problems based on their types like some can be cold some can be aggressive those ones are weirdly shy um, and part of that behavior is that they try to find like cubby holes or places to hiding 
um, like underground or underfloors, etc. Like that one was. Um, and when they died, I carried over, which is really weird. Arrow unit, which ones are the arrows? Ah, okay, there we go. So which ones are those when we fight them then? Okay, we'll save here.